Okay, so here's a tutorial. So what I'm going to do here, I'm going to um, recreate this effect. So I did this uh, a few minutes ago and I was just experimenting on how to create um, like a, a design with wavy effect. So basically if you really look into the um, into the uh, the object here or the text, so the text, the letter A, has some patterns inside. So what I did here, I power clipped it. So, so I'm gonna go to um, to my text, and then I go to objects, and then power clip. I'm gonna edit the power clip just to see what's inside. So once you edit the power clip, you're going to see, you know, the power clip object, right? The background that you did. So right now, see this blue line there? That is actually the letter A. So um, yeah, so basically the um, the pattern is wavy like this. So the first thing we have to do is to create this one first. Okay, so I'm click on finish and um, I am going to start the tutorial. Okay, just give me one second here because it's live. I just want to make sure that that I am live and uh, all right. So I. I am live. Okay, so now the first thing we have to do. I'm gonna check my audio again. Sorry about that. So if you are watching, just give me a thumbs up if if you can hear me or if the audio is good. So anyway, so for this one, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to create some lines first. So you click on your line tool. And then I'm going to click and then if you want a straight line you go hold control and shift to create a sh uh, straight line and then click okay so so what I'm gonna do here I'm going to match the actually I'm gonna make it longer here I'm gonna match the thickness close to the thickness of this stripe here so let's see um, I am going to uh, go to my yes your my um, outline tool I double click on the outline tool so this one will show up so this is the dialog box of the outline pen so the color is black we'll leave it to black but the width will change the width to uh, we'll just experiment here 5 is not enough we go 8 is not enough I'm gonna exaggerate it to um, so yeah so we'll just Actually, we'll just go to 16 first, and then we're just going to adjust the scale later on, and then click OK. And then I am going to uh, make this longer. Okay. So, so we think the trick here is that I'm going to create uh, nodes here, so that later on I can make it a wavy line, right? So first, what I'm going to do is I am going to click on objects and I'm going to click on con sorry it is already curved okay so I click on this object and then go to my shape tool so once you go to your shape tool okay you're going to select these two nodes and then in Corel draw you have an option to create more nodes okay nodes are these um, points here so that you can edit and make it wavy or curvy lines right so I'm going to click on the plus uh, icon here so add nodes and notice the line it it adds some uh, let's just call that nodes so I'm gonna make it one two three I'm gonna make it that kind of nodes one two three four and anyway, it's around probably 16 or 18 so so now with that one I am going to make that curve so I have this though uh, see uh, uh, I did it with a I added curve a node so that I can see edit it like that right I'm gonna hit oh. uh, click on control Z to undo that well the problem is if I go like this it's straight right it's not a curve I'm gonna hit undo again so what I'm gonna do to make a curve so I select all of this right select all of that the nodes and then go to curve so make it basically make it um, curve okay 
So now when I click on one node, right, it's going to curve. So we can achieve this kind of um, effect. So again, I'm going to hit undo, control Z. Okay. So now we have that one. Now in order, I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm going to duplicate all of this. Okay. I mean this one to make it, say, probably around 20 lines. So uh, plus sign in your keyboard. So you're duplicating without an offset. So I'm going to click on that plus sign. So there are two lines here on top of each other. And I'm going to move it and then bring it down. So while I'm bringing it down, you hold down control, control shift, just to make, make it, you know, make the lines straight. I mean, uh, when you're, so that it will move straight down, right? So I'm going to choose a space, say for example, this spacing here, say for example. And I'm going to click on Control D. Control D is to duplicate. I'm just going to make it like that. Okay. Now, if you notice, I need a thicker line, right? So what I'll do, I'm just going to select all of this and go to my Outline tool. Double click on that. So that's 16 pixels, so let's say I'm going to go 20 or probably 25. So I'm just going to type in 25 and hit enter. And I think that that would be good. Okay. So now the next thing is I'm going to select all of this, these lines, and I'm going to combine it. So combine is this one here, this icon, or you can go to objects. And then combine. So when you click combine, so you know that all of these lines are combined now. So now when I go to my shape tool, okay, so what I'll do, I'm going to alternate it. So for example, this one first. So you're selecting all that node. And then hold down shift. Don't forget to hold down shift so that you can select more nodes. So basically, I'm just going to alternate alternate here see if I alternate and I move this one see that one so it goes around right oops too much so I'm gonna move it down like this or like this okay so it's wavy but if you notice the wave here is not really a pattern so some are close to each other and some is not so I'm going to hit undo, and then what I'll do, I'm going to go back to my the straight line and go to your shape tool again. So I'm going to do it one by one. So I'm going to select the first row, oh, sorry, first column, and then I go like this. Okay. So basically, just make it, make it um, random. So for example, this one, I'll make it higher of it or maybe lower than the first one and then here I'm gonna make it really high as long as you still have you know you still have some gaps I mean the black doesn't but you can also do that so that it would be a different effect I'm gonna go with this one here maybe a little bit to the right and then this uh, so right again so what I'm doing now is I'm just moving lines so that the wave is not doesn't have a pattern you know and uh, I can even go like this yeah okay and the last one here I can move it to the right a bit okay so now I, I I click outside and yeah so that looks good so you don't have like a pattern in the waves this one goes up a bit and then down up a bit and out right so now 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 if you go to view and go to wireframe these are only lines right I'm gonna show you why we have to make this as an curve outline curve okay so the problem here is if I'm going to shrink this down, 
notice it becomes thicker right because I'm gonna hit undo because that is the point size which is uh, 25 right what you can do there are two ways what you can do is you can convert this to an outline so go to objects and then convert outline to objects okay so once I click on uh, outline to objects and then shrink it down oops why is that like actually these are all combined so, uh, shrink it down it it is actually um, it is it is going to the scale of it which is good and another if I undo this one and another uh, way to scale it too is you go to your to outline pen and then you can click on scale with the objects so when you click on that and then you when you click scale this down okay it would still be okay okay so now we're close to recreating this one so so what I'll do I'm going to um, rotate it a bit like that and then I'm just gonna type in the letter A and then I'm going to make this I'm gonna make this a different color first like yellow maybe not yellow maybe maybe I'll do gray first okay so I can see it and I'm going to change this. I think the text here is Times New Roman. Yeah, Times New Roman. And I'm saying I'm gonna enlarge this one here. Okay. Okay, so now here is the fun part. So you click on the wavy pattern, right? And then you go to objects and power clip, place inside the frame. And then once you uh, you have to choose the the text which is this one here click that and there you go and then you can make it white if you want now if I'm going to put this side by side and this is my original one you would see it's um, you know there are things that's different here right so you know the but you can still edit that so if you go to the, to the last one that I did right and then you go to edit you can shrink this down or you can even rotate it some more and then move it and then move it and then click finish there of course I can't get the exact one because it's uh, this one is a different line type uh, or what you can also do is you can change the the outline to say for example we tried 16 so it's say uh, 18 click OK okay and then click finish so yeah so that's how you do a wavy um, effect I'm just gonna fix this one I'm gonna move it somewhere there. And if you want, you can also add some color. So for example, you can go yellow, or gray. That's it. Now since this is a text, so you can still change the the the, uh, the text to say if I type in B and go like this. But then you have to go back to edit the career content and then see this blue line because that's the top of the B you can just move it like that or you can scale it some more like this and finish right or what you can do too is you can I'm just gonna write my name here uh, what's here I'm gonna make it bigger and then change it to Times New Roman Um, you can uh, I'm gonna click on this one and hit control so you can get this pattern so what I'll do I'm gonna copy this one control C and I'm gonna finish that and then I'm gonna go here and then I am going to what I can do I can separate this one 
So go to objects and then uh, break artistic text. And then here I'm going to paste this one here. I'm going to make it smaller. So what I'll do, I'm going to change. Actually, I don't. I'm going to change the text, all the text to say gray. Okay, and then I can go like this. This one to, should be to the back, to back of the text. So I go um, object, order to back of page. I'm gonna plus sign my keyboard to duplicate and put it here. So what I'll do, I'm gonna copy this first and then put it there. And then this one, I'm going to power clip to the letter A. And then this one to the letter X. And then this one, I'm going to click on plus sign to duplicate. And I'm just going to power clip that to the E. And this one to the L. And uh, that's it. And it will give you a very interesting design. And then you can also change the, you know, the the color of the of the text. Uh, let's try this one here. Yep, try that already. Say try blue. And then, of course, you can whatever you want to do. And you want to make it uh, you can want to put a little bit of drop shadow like that mm -hmm. just to make it stand out yeah I think that's all for that's all for this session and I hope you, uh, you enjoyed it